Hello guys, Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. The day has finally come. A cook that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm going to do a comparison cook on a Snake River Farms Wagyu brisket versus a USDA prime brisket, so stay tuned. Hello guys, Joe with Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue here. Guys. All right, guys, welcome back. As I mentioned in my intro there, I am going to be doing a comparison cook that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm going to compare a Snake River Farms Wagyu brisket versus a USDA prime brisket from Costco and let you guys know is, is the money, the investment for the Snake River Farms Wagyu really worth it? You know, we're talking about probably $180 brisket versus a $62 brisket. Both of these are 19 pounds. Right out of the gate, guys, I can tell you that the Snake River Farms brisket is really wide compared to the Prime. So I can't wait to carve into these, start trimming them up, and um, let you guys know what they look like. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna take them out of the package. I'm gonna put them in individual trays. Obviously, we can tell which one's the Snake River Farms because of the width of it. Um, I don't need to tag them because I can tell which one is which. But I wanted to show you guys. I can tell you that right out of the, the gate, through the package, the Snake River Farms Wagyu brisket does have more marbling, but I won't know what they really look like until I trim the edges and trim some of the fat off. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim these briskets. I do have a brisket trim out there, a brisket trim video out there, and I'll leave a link up here so you guys can catch that. This is what I'm gonna do to these briskets. This is not a competition uh, trim. This is just a backyard trim, but uh, watch that video. If you guys are, are uh, wanting to learn how to trim a brisket, I highly recommend that you watch that video. That's the exact same trim that I'm going to do to both of these briskets. So once I trim them up, I'm going to put them back in the pan and we'll come back and show you what they look like. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we're back and I've got both my briskets trimmed here. I got my Wagyu brisket over here on my right, this hand right here. And this is the prime brisket over here on my left. And I got to tell you, when I trim these, the Wagyu brisket was a lot easier to trim for some reason. It's like the seams were were more pronounced, so it was easier for me to trim the brisket anyway. And the prime wasn't too bad, but the, it just seemed like the Wagyu brisket was a little bit easier to trim. Not sure if any of you guys out there have, have ever cooked a Wagyu. If you have, let me know if you felt the same way on trimming a Wagyu, if you felt that it was easier. It's like the fat came off easier and even trimming some of the silver skin on the top. I left some of the silver skin on. Um, I'm not too worried about that. The rub's not gonna fall off. It'll stick on, trust me. Um, so I'm not too worried about the silver skin, but um, I did take some of it off and it was even easier on the Wagyu to come off. So let me show you the, the, uh, the point, I'm sorry, the flat on this brisket. This is the Wagyu and, and the meat is really rich extremely rich it's it's definitely got uh, more of a red color versus your your prime brisket again similar size flat um, and and the other thing is the wagyu did not have as much fat on the bottom of it i actually did very little trimming on the prime i did did uh, do some trimming on that one so um, right out of the gate those are just some of the subtle differences as you can see I, I didn't trim anything off of the Wagyu brisket. Um, just, just on this top side, I trimmed a little bit of fat, but that's a lot of meat. And, and that's good for like competitions, that's what you want. You still have this barrier to protect the, the flat, but man, look at that meaty flat. It, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. I'm actually gonna apply the rubs to one of them, um, and then, then I'm, or just the top to the uh, flat, and then um, I'll do the other flat, then flip them both over. I am gonna be cooking these fat cap up on my L-Ray smoker. 275 is the temperature that I'm gonna cook these at. Um, so I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer so you guys can see how I apply my rub. So stay tuned. All right guys, I'm just applying a, a nice coat of the garlic jalapeno seasonal. Just a nice even coat on the top, just like this. Okay, the second coat that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna actually use the Suckle Busters. Um, you guys probably have not seen me use this. 
Um, I'm out of the Victory Lane uh, beef rub, but they are sending me some more. Um, so I've got this uh, Suckle Busters really peppery rub, and I'm going to go a little bit heavier on this one, as you can see. This is going to help create that bark, that Texas bark that everybody shoots for, okay? So just apply nice, even coats. And I'll get the edges here in a little bit. I'm just worried about the top side right now. Just want to show you that. Then go ahead and just pat it down. Do not rub it. Okay? So nice, even coats. And then I've got my secret rub here. Actually, I'll just tell you guys. It's, it, it's okay. This is peppered cow. See how it says PC? This is peppered cow. And I'm going to go... About the same as I did the Suckle Busters. And this has a really good flavor as well. So I get, I get asked this question a lot. How do you get that Texas bark? Okay. Guys, this is how you get that Texas bark. Just apply a nice even coat of the rub. Make sure the meat is completely covered. And you're going to be fine. You can just pat it down. So on my L Ray Smoker, my big offset. This is the flat, so this is going to go towards the bottom, and this is going to get really nice and dark, okay? So, at this point, what I'll do is I'm just going to lift up the edges, and look at that, okay? And just go over it again with all the rubs that I just did the flat with. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and rub both of these uh, briskets down, and I'll bring you guys back in a few minutes, so stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back. So, I've got the briskets all rubbed down, and again, this is the Wagyu right here. And this is the prime brisket. Um, again, the fat is nice and tight here. I mean, it's still on the Wagyu. It's still, uh, you know, fatty, but not like this fatty, uh, which is kind of nice. This is kind of that, that fat, that really loose fat uh, on the prime. But this one's kind of tight. I mean, I like it. it it's even flatter. Um, but, uh, guys, I'm about to fire up the old El Rey. I'm going to let these rest probably for 30 minutes while I do that. But again, I just wanted you to see exactly how much rub I put on these briskets um, so you guys know how to get that Texas bark. So, guys, I'll bring you guys outside as I put them in the uh, old Elry. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back and it is 10 30 p.m. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my briskets in. Again, I got 275 on both sides and uh, it took me about 30 minutes or so, 30 40 minutes to. To get my fire pit going, but you can see it's consistently at 275, again, on both my left and my right. So I'm going to put them on this left side, or the right side of my smoker here. And this is, oops, let me turn on the light so you guys can see a little bit better. This is my prime brisket, and I'm going to put them with a point towards the firebox. So let me just grab this bad boy out of here. Try not to disrupt the rub on the top. And... I'm going to put it let me move that a little bit further back there we go right about there okay so get my wagyu and this sucker's looking mighty nice Look at this thing. It's a big boy. And that uh, flat is really thick. Again, I'm going to put it with the point towards the firebox. Just like that. So, guys, we'll, uh, I probably won't spritz this for five or six hours until I get my bark nice and dark and I can scratch it with my fingernail and the rub doesn't come off. So, we'll see you guys in about six or seven hours so stay tuned all right guys welcome back it is seven o'clock in the morning so these biscuits have been on for uh, eight hours now and i checked the internal temperature and i am at 165 on both uh, but you can see a nice bark it's really cold outside and windy so i'm actually going to pull them off bring them inside and wrap them so i'll show you that process so stay tuned all right, guys, we're back inside, and I'm going to put on my silicone gloves here. Uh, this is what I used to pull the briskets off of my smoker. And I always try to handle my briskets with these gloves. 
and grab it from the bottom. So <clears throat> this is actually the Wagyu brisket. Let me show you guys this. This is again after after eight hours in the smoker, and I got a nice crust on here. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but see how the rub's not coming off? That's what you want. Yes, I do have a little pud uh, puddling, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Just gonna move my pan aside here and show you guys what I do here. I got a bottle of uh, Cosmos Q's brisket mop in the shaker uh, with 16 ounces of beef broth. And what I do is I sprinkle it on the top. And again, this is another secret of mine. Um, yes, I am using butcher paper, but you will see that the liquid will not penetrate the butcher paper. Okay, just coat it. Give it a nice coating. Just like this. Don't be afraid. You will not lose your bark, trust me. So at this point, I got some really long sheets of butcher paper. I'm just going to just roll it over just like this, guys. Okay? And then roll this piece back. And again, I know that I still have my fat cap up here. Okay? And then this, I'm going to fold it under the brisket. Let me turn this. And I do have another piece of, whoa, made a little bit of a mess. That's okay. I'm just going to fold this here on the bottom. Just like that. And I'm going to wrap it. Just like that. And I'm going to wrap it again. So double wrap it. like this. Okay. Fold it over. Put this piece on the bottom. If you make a mess, guys, you can clean it. I'm not too worried about that. So just fold it over. Nice and tight. Fold it over. Just like that. So that's ready to get back in the smoker. Um, I'm going to actually put this inside of a foil pan because I do want to save some of the juices. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other brisket, the um, prime brisket, and put them both back in the smoker. So again, the temperature, the internal temperature is 165 on both of these. So I'm going to put them back inside the smoker. Again, my internal temperature actually increased to 167. And they're just going to cruise along. Um, I'll pull them off around 205 degrees, so um, I'll keep you guys posted, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've got my briskets uh, out of the smoker. 17 hours, and I let them rest for 2 hours. And this is my Wagyu brisket here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take a couple slices off. And then I'm going to take a couple of slices off my prime brisket, and we'll do a comparison real quick. So that's about as many slices as I'm going to get on this brisket. So I'm going to move over to the prime brisket right there, and take a couple slices off of this one.
All right, so first impressions. Let's get the prime brisket out. Cut it. This is the prime. Okay, hangs pretty good. Pull test, pretty flawless. Okay, and let's try the old Wagyu. Wow, this thing just drapes over my finger. As far as a pull test, look at that. Like butter. So, we're going to give these a taste test, guys. So, let me uh, back the camera up and we'll be back. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, we've got a couple of slices here. Got one slice off the prime, and I've got my au jus here. I'm going to dip them both in the au jus. But this is what you get really nice and juicy slice. And I'm going to dip the uh, Wagyu brisket in the au jus as well, just to make sure we're, we're grating equally. Okay, so I'm just going to take a piece off the Wagyu brisket. Oh my god, it pulls apart really nice. And I'm going to give this a shot, so cheers guys, super excited. Crazy delicious. Oh my god. That brisket right there for a competition has got to be deadly. Absolutely deadly. Just falls apart like melts in your mouth. I'm gonna try the prime. <laughs> Guys, there is a very noticeable difference on the Wagyu. It just falls apart in your mouth. This one has a little bit more texture, the Prime does. This Wagyu, I can't explain it. It's like mashed potatoes, like that kind of, I mean not that kind of texture, but that soft. Guys, the Wagyu from Snake River Farms is definitely worth the money for a competition excuse me I'm still chewing competition or you having friends and family over treat them to a Wagyu guys trust me <laughs> Prime was the best but now Wagyu is the best brisket I've ever cooked and tasted the bark from my El Rey is amazing 17 hours total cook time using uh, post oak wood Cosmos Q the uh, Victory Lane garlic jalapeno season, uh, seasoning, all of that paired together, produced an amazing brisket. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave some comments below if you have any questions. Maybe I didn't mention temperatures or anything like that. By the way, internal temperature was 201 degrees when I pulled them both because they just they were just poking really nice. So I used a toothpick and they just really tender. So I pulled them off. So ask away. Thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks to my subscribers. Hit that like button if you like the video. Until next time, Joe Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. See you guys.